Now, if you own a rig like this or similar, and many of us do, it's probably powered with a diesel turbo engine. And of course, those engines need to be serviced. But there is one part that we don't look at normally, and that's the intercooler. Now, the intercooler, of course, is a radiator that cools the air down before it goes into the engine for more performance. Now, the team here at United Fuel Injection know all about it. And today, Matt Craig is going to show us all the little loopholes in looking at an intercooler. Matt, the intercooler is something that people don't worry about because it's out of sight, out of mind, isn't it? It is. It's normally tucked in behind the bumper or it's on top of the engine. It's not something people pay a lot of attention to because it's there and they don't maybe don't understand what it does. Right. So the intercooler cools the charge air temperature after it's come out of the turbocharger, it's hot because it's been compressed. So the intercooler will cool it down, denser air into the engine, better efficiency, better performance, all that sort of thing. Right, now if I've got an earlier model diesel that doesn't have an uh, intercooler on, you guys can fit it and what sort of added performance would we get? Yeah, we can fit intercoolers to most of the aftermarket turbo stuff or the factory turbo stuff, sometimes they don't have it. Yep. It will increase your torque, normally increase your fuel economy, power, all that sort of thing. Just gets the engine efficiency up a bit. The cooler the air going in the engine, the higher the efficiency. Right, now with servicing it, you said you know, you're looking for leaks and that sort of stuff, but how do you pick it? Is there a noise? There can be a noise, um, or there can be a visible sign from oil leaking out of the crack. Intercoolers get oil in them just by a natural process that comes through the compressor cover into the intercooler, and you can see it leaking out. You can have a visual look. This one's, all the fins are damaged yep. because it hangs down under the car and has been damaged by rocks and gravel roads and stuff. So what sort of cost to replace something like that or repair it? Look, they can be sort of three to five hundred dollars for a replacement unit, you know, up to a thousand. Some of the bigger ones can be, you know, nine hundred to twelve hundred dollars as a replacement. Thanks, mate. No worries, Ross. Good. Well, that's the good oil from Matt Craig at United Fuel Injection. If you want to find out any more info, click on to zoomtv.com.au and follow the links to United Fuel Injection. Mm.